all right guys here we go back on the second channel and if you ain't seen it yet in one of the videos we pulled the uh transmission out my mama's trailblazer no trailblazers out there rocking dual gold bow ties on the front she's bout it bout it and as you may notice i have someone following me here and uh he showed up yesterday and you could count his ribs and yeah i don't know he seems like a very sweet dog all he does is follow you and want to be loved on and i don't really need distractions right now like dogs but <laughs> it's kind of a funny story them girls have been asking for a dog forever and uh, as y'all know well some of you know i've got a very kind heart especially for uh someone like the broken here not a brand new sh little show puppy where you spend a lot of money for it so funny enough we went to this little tulip festival thingy on saturday everyone had their dogs there and hot rod asked for a dog again and i said no but well, she said uh we'll come to find out i'll tell you that in a second so then next day's easter sunday and we're grilling and this dog shows up and he seems super sweet he kept his distance from everyone just kind of observed us and watched us and of course he ended up getting fed because he was sitting there and anyhow we gave him some water and all this good stuff he looks like he's had a rough life uh, nose is all scarred up and around his neck is kind of scarred up uh anyhow so we were talking about it or anyhow hot rod said dad yeah or i asked you saturday for a dog and you said no so that night i prayed for one and look what showed up today <laughs> oh and then yeah if it was a pretty old dog you know who had an easy life i probably wouldn't feel bad for it but this sucker here he's been through the ringer anyhow he don't seem to get in your way much he does like to follow people around a little bit but now that he's got a happy belly, he just kind of likes to lay around and relax. So right here's our 4L60E, getting back to transmission things. Uh, my builder guy rebuilt it for us. He said very typical 4L60E, three to four bands going out was the problem. The TB85, that's our torque converter for this one. The other one's our torque converter for the 700R4 in our Model A sedan project. So taking it out, we should just be going a little reverse process here. Now we're going to, uh, we need to flush out that old cooler and, uh, we can go back together somewhere. I stored was this, uh, that's model A. Aha, there it is. All right. There's all of our hardware. So we just got to figure out where all of it goes. No big deal, but before we get to reinstalling we got to get that uh just trailblazer reinstalled into this shop uh so we're gonna see if we can get her shoved in here we've been fabricating we ain't really been mechanicing so the old torola ain't got to shove nothing in a minute now i know you've missed me old girl so why don't you just fire on up she's a ripper folks oh boy all right let's let's uh mountain climb the old grassy knoll here oh broke loose and spinning we're gonna have to air down i got her to touch the bumper at least take the old parking brake off yeah 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 did you hop up in that drill trailblazer and steer it Whoop. I heard that old tow roller could shove a semi truck up a uh, up Mount Everest on the snowiest day of the season, backwards. Hell, I heard she could do all that and not even scratch a bumper doing it. Oh, yeah, found the lip going into the shop. Oh man, did he get me when I wasn't looking? He hit me with the drive by or what? You can't claim that. That's my mom's car. He's like, no, I read the tire and it said lion right there. And I'm the only animal allowed around here. Lion claw, piss on that. Don't you be peeing on no box truck. That's a no-no. Or the tow roller. We only take top grade care of this rig. Get up in there, big mama. Whoa! 
go, man. But I was doing good. I'm way crooked. What in tarnation? What is wrong with my eyeballs? Well, we're crooked as can be right there. I thought I was looking good on this side. I got an eyeball done gone bad. Brush them knees off. Going up. Oh, that didn't sound good. Uh -huh. Ouch. Oh, sorry, crack attack. Be careful sliding them things. They'll pinch your arms, your fingers. They don't discriminate. They'll pinch any piece of skin you got. You put it there. I think our one pad where it was uh, contacting, it was just barely off to the one side instead of being centered on it. So that pink noise I heard, I think was that pad just shifting the hair. Hey, get out of there, goofball. We gotta do the shake test. Yeah, she's good. She's way up in the air, don't care. Here at Putin's Fab Shop, safety is standard. So when we lift a vehicle this high, we like to take our safety jacks and place them at the front and rear of a vehicle. For the finest of safety features, we only trust the cheap Amazon jack stands with green powder coat. That won't hold it, nothing else ever would have. Now back, we like to install them up to the hitch. Cause you know what they say, if it can tow a trailer, it can keep a vehicle from flipping on you and crushing you. With two safety points secure, we are now ready to actually work on the vehicle. If you need some transmission work, just come on down and see us here at Puddin's Transmission Shop, PTS. Yeah, and I'd be damned too if I was ever a transmission shop. I'd rather, I'd rather be, I don't know, cleaning up trash off the side of the road, doing transmissions full time. I'd rather be doing damned old sheet metal if that tells you anything. Y'all know how much I love it. Yeah. Every good transmission shop has a transmission cart. And every good transmission guy has a bad back. Good golly, because these things are super light. Did this come with this? No, it, this must be a 700 R4. I was going to say, ain't no what? Ain't no what? Spin that baby like you're in dirty dancing. Hey, that's progress. He didn't come over here with me. He he must be taking that good nap. Speak of the devil. When you make it to the hot rod chassis, hang a Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe's a good name, ain't it? Whoop. Oh man, going so fast, cardboard's flying off of boxes. All right, so looking underneath here, uh, drive shaft's still here. We zip tighter into place. Basically gonna be reverse process. Uh, oh, we just got our vent hanging, doing the wine dangle, just flailing about. Oh, that looks like it got hot. What in the custom nipple we got going on there? However, kind of looking, one, we've got a dipstick to stab as we go up, so that's got to hit a hole. Our cooler lines we're not too worried about, but I was looking up here, and we got this little bracket that needs to go on our top, or actually those. Bell housing needs to go there, and then that goes, yeah. So we gotta get all this up past that and that. So that might be tricky. It'd be nice if we could figure out how to almost wedge that sucker up somehow, because slipping that's gonna be a pain in the hiney. Maybe if we jack her up just right, when we get right there, we can pull it or something. Only other things to think about and or consider is our cooler. Uh, as y'all know, uh, heat, is not a transmission's friend. Uh, you don't want it just getting smoking hot. Uh, on the boot scooting you can, when I did it, I just used some of this cooler clean. You just want to back flush the factory cooler. Uh, that is a thing. Uh, you definitely want to do that, especially if you're going to run, if you lost the transmission and you're going to run your factory cooler that was hooked up to it whenever you uh, lost the transmission, there's a good probability that you've got floaters and debris in there that you don't want in your now rebuilt transmission. Damn, sleeping on the job. Give him one Ozarka full of uh, Chevy hubcap. He hit that, he's out. 
Uh, the only transmission cooler I have available right now to swap to is this big mama. She has like 40,000 cooling capabilities, however that crap works. I got this for Puddin' Pops' uh, Tahoe. So I have not yet decided if I'm gonna slap that on there or the factory one. Uh, my transmission guy, he always recommends going to the cooler and I'm always like, I only got these big ones. He's like, don't worry about it. I have a concern of it being too cool, uh, but it's not like we live in freezing temperatures all the time. But either way, I think we're gonna figure out on your lines, one's a supply, one's a return. So whichever one usually is supplying towards that, and then it's gonna return out this one, we wanna supply our cooler through the return so it's back flushing, because the fluid's usually going this way. Now we wanna flush it back that away. And this thing says the upper is the return. So your lower's gonna go there, whoop, come back. So we wanna hook our can up to the upper and it's gonna flush back out of our lower. We need about a 3 8 piece of hose. That's so we can adapt to our hard line over there and get you a nice hose clamp on there. That's solid. <laughs> yeah. Put our hose on there. Got our uh, jug rigged up. She's ready to do the jug chug. Yeah. All right. I'm try to get this where y'all can see. Let's see what we're getting out of here. Hopefully some ugly stuff. Well, actually, hopefully not too much of it's in there. Here we go. Honestly, all that's fairly clean. Smells like wasp cleaner or killer. And we're flowing cool or uh, clear now. I'm gonna just keep letting that sucker flow. Uh, it definitely came out there cleaner than I was expecting to see. Even if we don't use the cooler up there, uh, this should hopefully clean our lines as well pretty good. Removes grease, dirt, sludge, and metal shavings. Prevents contamination of new rebuild units. Will not contaminate new transmission fluid. Contains no CFCs or chlorinated chlorinated solvents. Hey, she's military approved, baby. It says right on the can. Oh, little extra bonus round right at the end, huh? Just shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake out that solvent. It will clean it. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, well, that's pretty black looking. But as you'll see, it was definitely coming out pretty clear at the end, or completely clear. Trying to see if I can see any metal in it or anything good. Mm, maybe with a little light. Yeah, I think I can see some floaties in there. If you replace your transmission because it went bad, do not forget to flush all of that right there, all that yuck, whoop, right into your new one. Not what you want. Should have done this from the start, which is start to service this sucker. Honestly, I don't even know how many it needs. I remember doing the one for the wagon and I remember it kind of being slow to fill. Just like that, you gotta top her off and then she's gonna slowly drain down and it seems to take forever. Oh, unless this baby's good to go because it's just sitting there. It's really not. Maybe it's air locked. I'm sure shaking it's good for it. It's pretty happy. Hmm, seems fishy to me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone should have lowered that down all the way. No. Ha. Oh, damn cheerleader or what? Go team. <laughs> all right. My oldest daughter is a cheerleader. I know all the stunts. One, two, ready, and. The sucker ain't dropped no more, guys. I swear on the last one, I had to load that sucker up with a couple quarts. Back over here in slow to fillville, uh, it's slowly dropping. I topped her off. Uh, I took her cap here because that's going to create a good suction. I put a hole in it. I'm going to try sh blowing in it to blow that fluid down and see what happens. <laughs> Success! Y'all see that air pressure pushing it up off there. I was afraid the fluid was gonna come with it. And it spritzed a little bit, but not uh, 
Not like I was worried about. Oh, I just put too much. I need you to go down a little bit where I can pull the funnel. There we go. That's working, guys. Damn genius. Hey, Ma, Puddin's out there blowing on his torque converter. <laughs> Doing an automotive CPR here. Whoa! That one got a little butt nasty. Say what y'all want, but this beats the crap out of standing around here for an hour filling this up. After you give them good breath, chest pumps. You, get the defibrillator. Zap! You, call 911. My name's Puddin, I'm here to save your life. You can trust me. <laughs> Please, just let me go. <laughs> Snap out of it, I've got you. You ain't going anywhere. <gasps> Oh man, got carried away. All right, I huffed and puffed till I blew that house down. I got about two quarts in her. Transmission builder told me uh, two would, or one would work. So two, I'm just overachiever. Take a little bit of that fluid and I'm just gonna lube up the seal of here. There's an O-ring on this shaft that I just put a little bit on it. Of course, this is all lubed up because I spilt plenty. And we're going to put that on our shaft. That's going to then leak out. And we got to spin that. And you kind of pick up on her. She drops all the way in, which I believe we are. I don't think she goes in any further than that. Should be a tall of, I think. Is it three or four? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's good. These fell from wherever they were. They just go uh, up there. And what was that hooking to? A lot of nothing. We'll just uh, put them there. Red Rover, Red Rover, send that new transmission on over. Whoa! That was almost ugly. I mean, it wasn't pretty. But luckily I got a hold of that bell housing and uh, the pan fell, but it hit the leg of the jack here. So y'all probably don't want to see the blood in my hand from, uh, well, I don't want to show it to you, from grabbing that, but that sliced me, come to find out. Uh, I didn't even feel it, I just seen it. So I grabbed that, keeping that from slamming. The pan, that mount area maybe, hit this first, I can see where it hit across there, and then it kind of fell off of there, that leg of the mount on that side, smack the ground right there. So I think we just avoided uh, smashing that thing. I think it's gonna be fine as long as I get my hand uh, doctored up here. Not looking good, I don't do well in situations like this, so you really don't want me to be the one working on you if you need 911. You, call 911. Oh yeah, that took a whole little chunk out of me. Don't look at it. We. Y'all still on woozy, not me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Woo! Hoo hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Boy, that crap got everywhere. <sighs> Knocked all the dust off the old first aid unit. We are gonna be good here. We are gonna be good. Oh man, got my wrist too. You gotta be careful. Them uh, bell housing edges are pretty sharp. Where's the thing of morphine? Kink! Need a cold pack. Y'all know what? Uh, I, I don't think you're allowed to show blood on the YouTuber and I can't keep it from rolling off my wrist and my hand here. So I'm just gonna go have my wife help me. Now I don't like having her help me because when I do stuff like this, I get yelled at like I somehow did it on purpose. Jacob, why'd you do that? And I'm like, boy, I was, I was really in a hurry to get that transmission in and I was just like, man, if I could slice myself in two places right now, that would really expedite the process. So I just thought it was a good idea now, reflecting on the situation, I realize it was not smart after getting yelled at by you. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's just what, that's how it goes. She don't really mean it. I'll be back in a minute. It panned out all right. Uh, two band-aids on it, whatever that is. It is bleeding through that though. Uh, the wrist is gonna be good. It wasn't near as deep. Got sent over with a sausage. Uh, that right there is worth the, the sacrifice of the injury. So I think it's important now that we reach this point to 
rotate that that way the long legs are offsetting and maybe try to position her she was really good i gave her a little shaking test until we added the torque converter the extra weight from the torque converter has her little whoopie dude on there which got us to this point of getting a free sausage grab some dirt on it be a man oh ho, ho, ho. found the missing skin all right i couldn't have done without that that just grossed me out worse than seeing it <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. all right round two god bless that thing is heavy be a hell of a time to have a helper why well, my legs and arms i meant sorry there pooch yeah, I'm gonna hit my head next. Perfect. Huh. Honestly, all these brackets and crap that's supposed to hold that just get in the way, make it a pain. Yeah. Our flex plate, the hole to get to it's right there. So I went ahead and rotated that down. That way, uh, we're already matching there. All right, going up. Yeah! All right, up in here, we're gonna start doing a little rubbing, a little loving. Stuff's gonna start hitting each other. And what we don't wanna do is flip this sucker off here again. First obstacle, we've got bell housing, heading, or cooler lines. That's easy to navigate. That's all we got. That's all we got. We just did all that for nothing. We're gonna have to bring the car down a hair. Oh boy. That's good. That's why they call me Redo Ricky. Safety stands out. Coming down. I got her in a position where I think we're safe to leave it and we are getting slightly distracted here uh but so this is my mom's car but over here is my mom's other car she's the 2018 malibu and uh as of yesterday it has a check engine code I hook my, hey get out of there we can't afford the interior in this rig come on now little scanner code thing said p11 i guess pretty common on these is the vvt solenoid or something i don't know newer cars it does seem simple enough to get oh she's turbocharged right up front she'll whoop that booty we'll still take a look anyhow that's your insulation right there keep your heat in your motor yeah that's what that's for now they sit on that so solenoid the one on the back was the intake one one up here was the exhaust one which makes sense since our intake's on this side and our exhaust is on this side he said there'd be a couple different connectors or colored connectors or something and this one ain't different so my car is definitely a little different than the one i was looking at online that's got oil in there <laughs> what i'm hoping we can do here is do a little reading with our meter and see if it's uh, a bad sensor there so i was gonna do a little testing here but i just realized we've got a totally different setup than the video i was watching these come in 1.5 turbos 2.0 turbos or 1.8 i don't know if that comes with a turbo or not what i was watching said you could test these suckers and they should be between 4 to 12 and our intake side here if we go and check this one right there we're reading nine point something if we come up here on our exhaust one we're reading zero so that actually makes me think this one's bad because it's right reading like straight continuity but again, this is the exhaust side. Uncle Rick's fancy computer, which is very expensive hardware, says if it was this one, it would be like a 13 or 16 code. I don't remember what he said. Uh, so it also shows to be an intermittent problem in his system, which means it can, I probably didn't say that word right, but you know what I mean, where it comes and goes. And when her check engine light came on yesterday, then it went off, and then she was driving again and come on today. So it may be temporarily working right now. Uh, his system did not say ohm range to check so we're kind of firing from the hip there and flying blind don't know if that's actually accurate uh, the only confirmed fix that he showed is replacing that solenoid so i've got the parts house bringing us one uh, it's cheap enough and one bolt holds it in so we're going to give that a try here in a little bit now back to your regular paid for tuned program 
of ER, Pot County ER. We're slicing fingers, folks. You know, the damn A team showed up to help, apparently. We got tornadoes coming in, so they done closed up shop. Not me, I'm gonna ride them out, baby. And I rope that sucker. Get my cowboy hat on. It's harder to rope when you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been a pain. We gotta get it up over the starter cone, but then get them clamps lined up. And it's gonna take a minute. Now we got the real A team out here. Oh, Hot Rod slapped that sucker in for us. Uh, we gave this thing a couple cranks to rotate that. And we're lining up good enough right there. Oh, you know it's got us. I'd pick that up high enough to set that board underneath there where if we'd take that out, we'd get a little tilt out the motor. Out the back. Oh, well. Bill says it'll still work eventually. One's gonna keep us from Falling. losing. Anyhow, losing her. So. Is it strapped? Yeah, it is. Not very well. You start using the safety chains after you uh, drop it the first time and lose a finger. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, that's what those are for. I think what we can do, guys, is uh, shove up on this side. It should pivot on that side, and then we get this bolt started. Then we can look at getting shifted up on the dowels. I think, I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, so it's this thing. Shove up on her slick, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. Now we're good. We're started. That one needs a clamp on her. We're pretty close. All right. I'm gonna try to pick this up and have someone pick Pull that up, board. Yeah. Now you're pretty good with that too. With that too. Well, now we can actually lower it down and get to some stuff. About like so. I think we're we're good as long as we get one in the top and pull her closed. Yeah, that one's threaded right in. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that thing in there. We uh, the bracket. Yeah. Oh, nope. It's in. She's in. I thought it was pulled out a second ago. We got a seventy foot long pry bar. We'll get her up out there. We'll sandwich her in between and hope for the best. Just crack that casing. Oh yeah. <laughs> minute ago i looked up through there and it was fine it wasn't in there now dang it i thought we done had her whooped in the clear guys yeah <laughs> it's a party when you get three foot of extension going yeah Is that money mm, have probably them things up to get them over the bell housing just got them sucked up there crap the bed okay. well i thought i i thought i protected it uh no i did not now that she's in here i see uh i most definitely cracked that tail housing i just noticed that seal and i was like why is that thing so wompy jawed uh probably because of that right there oh boy shine that light up there bill she may be cracked but at least we got the bell housing bolts up top started i would have rather took my whole finger off than lose that looks like we're in the hunt for more parts now because uh that is not doing us no good. I did take your finger off. Yeah, well, not enough. I didn't sacrifice enough. I broke it. You did? Yep. Look, see this? See the crack and where it smashed? Yes. I thought this hit first. Nope. Dad, Dad broke it. Let's pull it down. <laughs> she only cares about the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dad lost his whole hand. Is the dog okay? <laughs> All right. Let's lower that baby down. Try not to drop her all the way. We can't afford to crack no more pieces. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna put a chain over it trying to be safe after it was too late. <laughs> What'd you say a minute ago, Smart Alec? Races for who? <laughs> Team Band-Aid, he races for Team Band-Aid. Team Blue Tape, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes. We'd be doing real good right now if someone wouldn't have dropped it earlier. That me, that's me, I'm someone. <laughs> Watch your paw. Now, as far as our tail housing goes, we should just be able to swap that out. I think we just hit that at the wrong angle to do the right amount of damage to put us in a bad spot. Uh, so any of this other stuff, I went ahead and tightened up all of our bell housing bolts. Anything else I can get to, I'm gonna go ahead and just attach here. No, yeah, Slick's over there working on mom's car. The uh, uh, sensor came in that we're gonna try to replace. How's that go there? Oh, I gotta push that up. I got it. 
I see, says the blind man. That pops in there. She's secure. I think this little one goes here, so we don't need to do it because that's going to be our part getting replaced. Bill, you didn't know you are a celebrity, huh? Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> Did you pop her leaves? Mm -hmm. Bill said he was up at the drag strip the other day and uh, Murder Nova, the Street Outlaws guy, 187 Customs on the YouTuber. Oh, yeah. oh hey, you're Wild Bill. I said, yeah, he, he watches the channel, Bill. Yep. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, you're a celebrity, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was there to see him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was there to see you. <laughs> I was just in the Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Should have let him know that turbo would eat. You want to go turbo for turbo here? Probably not. His turbo is probably bigger than your motor. Uh -huh. I said his turbo is probably bigger. Now nah, I was talking about this one. Oh. <laughs> we, we get her fixed. We're going to go race the, the little. Way bigger than mine. I bet you. Mine's a little dinky thing hidden back there. I didn't even know I had turbo on it when I bought it. <laughs> Johnny told me he's got Honda. He goes, Oh, you got the one with the turbo? And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 I don't think it's got one. I went out there and looked. They go, yeah, I do got the one with the turbo. <laughs> All right. Let's just hit a race here. See what happens. The race was successful. Press any hotkey. Skip. Wait. You just said a race was successful. Then you say the same thing. Open hood? Thanks. We, we couldn't tell because of the open hood. <laughs> well, the check engine light went away. I think. Well, check engine light is gone. So we're going to take that one as a win, boys. We could use a win right now. Now if only hitting your race code would fix the tail housing of that transmission. All right. Back to this unit. Uh, that connector pops right there. One of them vent tubes. Uh, the smaller one goes on your transmission there. The other one I think is supposed to stick up to actually be the vent. I don't know where this one is running down to where it's supposed to go. I don't remember. Uh, over here, we just need to get our shifting linkage. Yeah, I tucked it up over here. There it go. That sucker just pops into place. Take the nut off there. Uh, apparently, we need to switch our shifter there. Our neutral there. Well, that's why the car uh, was rolling so good earlier. Verse. There's park. We had to drop her down to get our dipstick. We did not land the hole for it. We did not dip the dipstick. No. And it's kind of wedged up against our cooling line, so we can't do them neither. We got room for that big old 40K cooler I got to tuck up in here. She's never going to go out again. Make room. Zip tied across the front of this SOB. Put it on the hood. She's free. I guess we got to go back up now and then stab it. Yeah. But we ain't going to be able to... Uh, shove it probably probably just be able to line it up but won't be able to there ain't nowhere good to grab it because the exhaust so maybe we take her up a hair i'll shimmy underneath there yeah so it felt like it went she's good Ow. I couldn't tell how I was going to fish it in there. Then I realized this finger was the size of a dipstick. So once I figured out how to work that in there, we were good. Oh, oh the finger jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the blue reamer. <laughs> Bill, the blue reamer. <laughs> that joke stops there, sir. <laughs> Before it goes too far. <laughs> Since we got that front end down on the ground, so we could put the old uh, radiator sized cooler on her there ain't enough room up in there not for what we're packing and then we just slapped all this back together that factory one it may have uh, failed us before in fact i know that transmission's been gone through twice now rebuilt allegedly before she got it but we don't know the previous life we don't know if that cooler was flushed out the first time like we had talked about earlier uh, also there was a point where mom had lost the water pump on this and i know she it got hot a couple times so usually if your radiator's hot well that means that transmission's going to get up there too because that's how it's getting its cooling power so with all that being said we know she's flushed out good now we're gonna just hope for the best on the cooling side she's got bigger problems on the rear now
Now, guys, in reality, I'm not happy I did that, obviously. But tearing that up versus tearing up our output shaft, uh, you see how easy it is to get that off. So we're definitely happy we tore that up. And not that, not that up. Next up, get our torque converter bolts happy there. One at a time will do ya. Spin that sucker around till you get you another one lined up there. We ain't gonna do nothing right today. I'm backing her up here because I realized she's probably a hair off because I can't get that next bolt started. <clears throat> Loosen it, and then I'll go uh, get all of our other ones started. We'll try again. Uh, go around the world here. So it feels like with all these little baby bites of the pry bar. Starts way easier when the one's not tight. We'll figure out how to install this transmission one day. <clears throat> Last one right there. Those shoulders just got to work out between spinning that and tightening them. Whew. Kind of looking through our box of hardware. There's a little retaining clip that goes on our shifter over there. I popped it on. Uh, this little piece I probably should have put in before we uh, put the two together, motor and transmission, because that lip right there is supposed to shove in. I'm going to lube her up good. I don't know if we'll be able to shove it in there. The dang sure ain't going to go in backwards, dummy. Oh, yeah. She'll go. That, lo that lube will make sure of it. <laughs> Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Pop her in. Pop her big cover right there. I thought we had another rubber one somewhere. Oh yeah, it goes here on the front side where we gotta go through. And that's this one right there. Boy, she's sealed up now. Sealed up better than that tail housing. Just a, just a quick run to the junkyard here. Quite literally. Ooh, baby, step side. All right, they're actually closed today, but I know Sammy quite well. He takes good care of us. He said, oh, it's good to hop up in here and do what I got to do. Train up on this unit. Yeah, she looked a little better from behind than she does from the front or side. Dying, that thing's had a, seen better days, ain't she? She's got all the rat's nest. It's the old long bed. Boy, that was a rig and a half when it was in its prime. All right, he said there's a pile o transmission somewhere back this way i'm sure i've seen him before said he's pretty sure he'll have one in that pile uh, where we can just pull it off on them pretty sure it's back behind here <laughs> just as soon as i turned that off i rounded the corner and uh made it to transmission alley here now all we gotta do is find what we're looking for and oh yeah, I did not bring one. Or I didn't bring the old one, I mean. I was hoping one of these would have that goofy ear mount hanging off of it where I'd recognize it. Hmm. Yeah, this would be real good if we uh, get the wrong stuff here. I'm quite certain that's the same way our sensor is. 4L60E right there. Now that one obviously ain't from the Trailblazer. I definitely should have brought the uh, other one where, because I don't know if they're the same. Done messed up again. Whew. New little jog across town here to the, found some blazers, trailblazers. He said he thought he had some over there, but if not, he said by a tree over here, he was sure there was one. Well, 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 what do we have here? All right, there's what we're looking for. Well, you know what? I say that, and look at that seal. It's different. Why is that so goofy? Is it just a different style seal? At least she's nice and clean in there. That's good. The bushing in there don't look the happiest. So that don't make me super duper happy, but what do you do? And that, I guess it's just the heavy duty super seal 950. 
All right, we're back. <laughs> I called Sammy and told him uh, I'd found what I was looking for, but be ready to uh, see an idiot running around on his cameras out in his junkyard. <laughs> All right, that looks like her. Looks like our new uh, seal got delivered when we were gone too, so that's good. Whoo! Oh, Eagle Eye just guessed that pretty close. This might booger this bushing up. Yep, that ain't what we want. Well, unfortunately, that's the closest thing I got that I was hoping I could tap that out there with. This one just has a couple nicks on it, but it is what it is. Pop that sucker out. Yeah, she seems like she'll go in. About the right size anyhow. And the paint's left on there. Oh, we got that out of there. Those couple burrs are on that. Not really burrs, they're just kind of sc scratches, I guess. Oh, we're in the Scotch Bright on them too. I hit that sucker with a Pot County rebuild there. Can it break clean and uh, smack your new seal in? Not sure how that bracket right there got bent as well. That baby's lubed up, lubed up nice. Last step, we've got our seal in here. Don't drop that, we don't want to crack it. What makes me super happy is just how clean it is in there. Uh, I think we're ready to go back on. Pretty sure there was a clamp that went to that, and it's missing. Should have got it at the salvage yard, but I wasn't thinking. Or maybe in our box of hardware, actually. No, she's missing. The good news is we're kind of back to where we started and unless you look close, you can't even tell. <laughs> I mean, she's practically the same color at everything. Now we can pop that sensor on, get it happy. Oh, and that clippy broke, so I'm gonna zip tie it or tape it or something. A redneck, but that'll keep it from falling off there. Your cross member and this thingy. Exhaust hanger, transmission mount combo kit. Bring our jack back in with a four x four where we can remove our temp cross member. And we'll look at, we'll probably need to figure out the mount first actually. This thing, oh yeah, had to hook on this exhaust, both of them somehow. I do not remember how I pulled that one off. I remember having to roll it very close right there. Gosh darn it. This thing says top and front and I still put it on backwards. I if y'all heard that too, the storms are definitely about to roll in. If you'd look at the bottom side, it says front and points. So we're looking at the top side and putting it on backwards. This thing's a booger. This one is on, but that one ain't actually on. Yes! Ha ha! Oh, we need to jack her up more. That's the problem here. Got both them started and uh, that, picking that up. 
actually gets us off our jack and should have us pretty close to where we need to be. Your cross members offset to the side. Start a couple on that side, on this side, because I can't pick that up. I'm gonna use this longer thread bolt to tighten it up. And once we get that ringing up, put two of these smaller actual ones in there. We can pull a long end back out. Their little ones all tightened up. The same cross member has these two long bolts like this go across. Which is crazy to me. This has to be one of the strongest cross members in the entire world. The whole entire planet. Cross members full in, transmission mounts tight. And after installing all this, I'm proud to say, I only have two bolts left over that I don't know where they go. That's pretty good for me. Cut our drive shaft free. I'm trying to hurry up and get inside, guys. I don't mind the storms, they don't scare me. Uh, but my girls, they don't do so well in them. Slide the drive shaft in up there. Oh, you gotta be crapping me. I'd set the parking brake. <laughs> We can't turn the wheels to get her to match. There it go. Uh, it was just as quick to take this and unhook our shifting linkage as it was to drop it down and pull apart. So I just unhooked that real quick, popped our neutral. We're lined up now, should be good to pop our two bolts on. I'm gonna throw this on real quick. Yeah. Now these you can almost run down with that long extension. This one here you can't quite get on. Yep. <clears throat> Those are GUD. They're good. Now guys, I was not joking about them two bolts. I honestly have no clue where they go. They're both fairly long, same size. Wherever they go, I truly believe they go in the same spot together. And just honestly, 100% have no idea where they could possibly go. I'm an idiot. I don't think I need to prove that anymore this video. Uh, I was so worried earlier about the hard to get ones that I forgot the hard to see ones. I was looking at them and I'm like, it sure looks like bell housing bolts. I forgot these bell housings only have like 24. I'm used to the old school ones. We got like four, five. That don't hold it. What else, what else could you ask for? With all them happy, we're gonna bring her down where we can put some more fluid in her. We may get this job done yet. Filled her up with the good stuff. That's all the new deck six that we put in there. Dang, transmission fluid is not cheap. Well, I don't see no fluid coming out from underneath it, so that's good. Gonna go for a start up here. Uh, I had a total of 12 quarts. So in total right now, there's just about 11 quarts in it. That's between the two we put in the converter and then what I put in the transmission. Oh yeah, I disconnected the battery. Can't forget that sucker. We have power. Woo -hoo! She's moving. And that right there, folks, is how you make a two hour job take about five hours, six, maybe six and a half, who knows. Second. Oh yeah, she's driving good, guys. Pulls good. A little wine going on. A supercharger or something on this bad boy. Got damned old Pro Charger. We're in overdrive, cruising 75 like it ain't nothing. Gonna take her to take her to town and back or something. Get her nice and toasty warm where we can check her. Camera probably won't pick it up, but over there we got some sunshine coming through them clouds. Looks beautiful. On the hill, we got a kid jumping on a trampoline. He don't give a dang no tor. He ain't scared of no tornadoes. This straight six right here runs off tornadoes. Come on, baby. I really need you to come on. Oh, there's a downshift. She will downshift at 75. She'd do it pulling the trailer house too. That old straight six. Our light keeps turning on and off here, uh, but that is not bad. A bad transmission, okay? That's me forgetting that door was open and just driving around with the door open. Guys, I think we're good to go. We're gonna mosey on back towards the house. 
and when we get there we just need to check for leaks underneath and uh, check our level see if she's uh warmed up now all right no big obvious leaks that i can see that's good before he goes for rides we're gonna have to get the stink washed off him he's stinky boy hot rod said dad where are we gonna name him i said i don't know roscoe just because i said roscoe earlier she said come here roscoe he didn't even look she said no he don't like that name <laughs> she must have heard me talking about her here we are on a facetime thingy hi Baby, I'll get it, okay? Service that where I think we're gonna be good. Put a little bit of that one left right there just in case we need her down the road. And with that, I think we're sitting pretty good on this thing. And the old sun trying to shine through now. A little low hanging cloud over there not a wall or nothing don't be scared it's all gonna be good folks throw in the towel i'm done i don't want no more shouldn't have been that hard now guys i obviously made things difficult on myself today uh breaking stuff and then putting a piece on backwards you know just dumb stuff forgetting a couple bolts really dumb stuff but that'll happen sometimes uh more more often than not to me it seems like <laughs> However, it may not look like we got a whole lot done because of that, but I wish y'all would have seen how dirty the shop was this morning from all the metal work into last weekend. Today's Monday. Video already dropped. Dang, I ain't even got to save my prayer or post another thing on the Instagram or yet. Been out here getting after it. Uh, but the shop was absolutely wrecked. We got it cleaned up really good. It's not, it's not super wrecked right now. We could have this clean in like five, 10 minutes max. Uh, got the transmission back in. Back behind here, from about those wheels and tires over to that tote that's now empty, we had a ton of parts to return. And I've been really bad about putting them over there and then forgetting, like when we do the GMC, uh, and I'm like, hey, let me get the brake booster. And they're like, well, has it got this one or that one? Well, half the time I'm not out here when I call to get my parts. So I'm like, shoot, I don't know which one it's got. Just send me both and I'll send whichever one I don't use back. And we did that with the S10 and the GMC. And then you just get little stuff from here or there, a belt, uh, this gasket or that gasket, you know. And I had a lot of stuff over there and I'd got that all fished out and got it returned, uh, which was like enough money to cover the transmission rebuild on this thing, <laughs> which is why I've been needing to do it. But I just, it's over there tucked in the corner. So it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, which ain't no good. Uh, but then again, my local parts place, because I deal with them so much, they don't mind that I do that. I mean, I'm sure it's not their favorite, but they don't give me a hard time. So it was like an over-the-time investment to then, boom, have that back. Uh, which, like I said, was enough to cover this sucker, basically. Uh, so that's good. We get mom back on the road here with that one. Uh, besides that, we got that sensor replaced on her other car, which wasn't even plain today. It's just kind of part of what happened and went on uh she hasn't she didn't say the check engine light came back on as she went home uh so that's good there i, I still don't know that's a hundred percent fix uh you know i'm sure a few more days driving from her will let me know there if we got that one lined out for her so hopefully her main car will be good now her backup little car here should be good and my fingers feeling better and i need to go clean it up and i need to uh get couple vehicles over there pulled up in shops or underneath awnings or something because uh, we don't want one any of this crap sitting out in hell that's the main reason I, I invested in more well not the main reason for the more shop but reason I put parking in the shop and then main reason I put that awning out there was at least try to have something to protect uh, from hell or whatever so that's it guys I hope y'all enjoyed me making a fool of myself this go around uh you let me fabricate on sheet metal for two weeks and i forget how to mechanic just how it goes <laughs> if you had me mechanic for two weeks i'll forget how to sheet metal uh so that's it oh, let me close this door before i forget again or before it drains our battery yeah the light was on that'll get you uh guys i'm on the instagrammer i'm on the facebooker i am on the patreon put in fabshop.com for that good quality merchandise we're 
pretty slim pickings and I don't know if we'll have time to release more before the car show. I don't think they're going to get us. Anyhow, we appreciate all the support there. And uh, other than that, uh, thank you guys so much for being here, uh, just watching these videos. It truly means the world to me. And uh, other than, I'm going to quit saying other than that. I've got to get after it, okay? i got to go move, do the old car shuffle boogie. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hot damn, there's so much BSRE, we had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on!